That's fine. Are you nervous? You're not nervous. You don't look nervous at all. Yeah. I'm Brenda Burmeister. I'm 37 years old. Oh, I keep lying about my age too. Fuck. <laughs> I'm Brenda Burmeister. I'm mom to Finn. And um, I'm a Democrat. My name is Finn Burmeister Morton. I'm her son. I'm a Republican and I would have voted for Trump if I could because I'm 14 years so. old. Part of my vote was an active vote against Trump. And part of that was because I am horrified to know that we as a nation elected a man who um, has sexually harassed his colleagues and his co-workers, but and Bill I don't Clinton understand. Bill Clinton has done the same thing that Trump has done, but you just kind of skim over it. You never mention him. Because she's married to him, she's not him. But because she's still married to him, that doesn't mean that she thinks it's that bad. It's just a game to detract from the behavior and the choices of the candidates when we start talking about their spouses but also it's another example of the double standard. I think his benefits outweigh stuff like that. That he, he did do stuff like that, but that was in the past. And I, I don't think that's gonna affect him as a president and what choices he makes. Why do you find political correctness um, unacceptable? I could say that smoking cigarettes are bad. It's gonna, uh, it, it, it will make the cigarette smokers mad. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't say it. I don't know if you understand, really are empathetic to how some of the things you say is privileged and you have a right, you, you feel like you have a right to that privilege of being able to say whatever. Well, when, when I say something like that's retarded, I don't mean that as an insult to people who do have mental disabilities, but by you taking that as being rude, you're, you're the one saying that that is rude. So you're kind of not being political. You're, you're, you're not being PC by trying to be PC. So you're, when you say, well, that's retarded, right? Like we don't walk around going, well, well, that's normal ability. That's heterosexual, you know? You're, if it, there was a, like a gay dude and I said, that's gay, that's not an insult. I'm just classifying that person. Well, in all but, honestly, I, I, I do think classifying other people's sexuality is out of bounds. People. Yes, it's out of bounds. <laughs> I am not saying that I agree with everything that people say or s stuff that we can say. I'm saying that we should have that right and continue to use that right. So how do we move to be a culture that has the right to say anything, but is not choosing to say things that are hurtful or that's putting all, people down? That's right now. Are we moving towards that? Yeah. <laughs> we just elected Trump who like puts like, like in speeches is like making fun of handicapped people and like, you know, de denigrating women in interviews and degrading. like degrading. Normally, I would be pretty okay with someone having a different ideology than me, but like, I don't know, it, it's kind of weird because you're my mom, and you're supporting someone that I really, really hate. You know, like on a personal level, you know, your sister being a gay youth, like, I don't know what... Also, he's said on multiple occasions on TV that he's just going to leave the, the legislation about gay marriage and stuff, so he can... Stop freaking out about that. And that was my only concern, that your sister be able to get married. I, I just don't understand how you can support someone who's, who, you're saying that he might do stuff. She has already killed Americans and other people and went and started wars. And that doesn't, that just is kind of wrong. I, I kind of feel like that's wrong. 
Does it confuse you that I support somebody that does all yeah. these things? I respect your political <laughs> uh, v v view a little bit less, but n not as a m mom.